I heard someone say, Ah, light meters are a throwback to an old technology. Ah, it upsets me when people use light meters. Oh, really? Let's uh, point out a serious uh, defect in that, uh, that uh, mental inaccuracy, okay? Right now I have this light meter set for reflectance, the same way your camera works, okay? I have a black card here and a white card here. And it's not pure white, and it's not pure, well, actually it's pure black. Um, so we got white and black. Your camera has the worst time of like a black cat in a coal mine and a polar bear in a snowstorm. But this meter does not. Also, I can actually do averages and I can actually uh, uh, check uh, the percentages of a fill flash versus ambient light and a lot of other different stuff. Let's just take this as the main example. Right now I have this on reflectance, which means I'm going to look through this little eyepiece right here. And I'm going to take a spot meter reading of the white paper and then of the black paper. And then I'm going to set my camera, which is in manual, and see what it does. See, your camera, it doesn't matter what camera it is you got, they're all the same. They are geared to produce gray sludge. Okay, I'm going to take a spot meter reading of the white. Okay, we're at a thousandth of a second. Yeah, a thousandth of a second. 1250 at the very brightest part. And we're down at the eightieth of a second. Okay, here we are, spot meter reading off the black part of the paper. 80. Now let's take a spot meter reading off the white part of the paper. One two thousand fiftieth of a second. Well, that's quite a bit of difference. Now, uh, I suspect, since there's only one light in this room on right now, that uh, these two things are... Uh, this is exactly the same way your damn camera works. Now, if you have it matrix metering mode, it's doing an average of a lot of different stuff. Um, if you have a black cat in a coal mine, or a polar bear in a snowstorm, or actually, you know, endless thousands of things, scenes exactly like that, it's not going to see things the same way. It's not going to expose correctly. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, listen to how your camera works and stick the camera in manual. And, uh, you know, I'll take a shot at uh, a thousandth of a second at f4 and uh, see how that turns out. Yeah, you see, your camera wants to turn everything into gray sludge. So now that white paper is now, let me zoom in, that white paper now is 18% gray, more or less. Base bottom part of it is 18% gray. Let me zoom in here is where I took the reading. Okay, white paper is now metal gray. Now let's uh, listen to the the reflectance meter and uh, go way down several stops to eightieth of a second at f four. All of this is sixteen or ISO. Okay. Oh, my white's kind of blown. I uh, according to my histogram, I've actually clipped my highlights, which is exactly what you would expect. And so now. Let me bring my paper in, my black paper. My black paper is 18% gray, okay? So, your camera, let me zoom out here. Your camera wants to turn white into gray, and it turns uh, black into gray. White into gray, there we go. White into gray, and black into gray. Oh, okay. Now, <clears throat> now let's uh, take uh, the stupid, insane notion that a light meter is a throwback technology. Let's turn the dial to this throwback technology and have it do something that no camera can do. Wham! Now this thing can do something that your damn camera can't do. Now this light meter is not racist anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's kind of funny. You know, I like to have humor. Yeah, this camera, does, I mean, this light meter, when it's taking a uh, incident meter reading, it uh, sees the same thing. 320? 320, 320, 320, well 250 about the average, 250. obviously light intensifies as I get closer to the light since my light source is really, really close. I'm basically looking, yeah, about 250th of a second. That camera, I mean that incident meter reading, does not partake of white or black. It only sees the light, only see the light. Well, that makes sense. I think that's what a lot of uh, churches teach. Look at the light, you know? 200 of a second and four. Oh my god, look at that. Now we've got a correct exposure. My histogram looks really sweet too. So, <clears throat> for the knucklehead out there that said, ah, it upsets me when I see people advocating and using light meters. It's just a throwback technology. My question to you, buddy, is you tell me how your camera can take an incident meter reading. It can't! Uh! It can't. Okay? If you take anything away from this other than a little bit of humor, the point is, is that your camera only sees reflected light. It's like this. So this is one one thousandth of a second. 
actually one one uh, two one thousand two hundred fifty of a second, and this is one eightieth of a second. Which one's right? The answer is neither one is right. One two thousand fiftieth. Okay, if I expose for over here, I've clipped my highlights. If I expose for over here, I've lost my detail and my shadow. Interesting. I take an incident meter reading, I get a perfect histogram. Well, I can adjust things in Lightroom. Okay, that sounds good. You uh, sit in your underwear in front of the computer for like five times longer than I do, adjusting your exposure sliders in Lightroom. Uh, me, I prefer to shoot less shots and uh, nail the dynamic range and not clip the highlights after taking a correct reading. Yeah, okay. I think I pointed that out loud and proud and clear, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Throwback technology, my ass! I hear stuff like that, it makes my blood boil. Thank you for watching, catch you later.